have a good credit policy, be tough, but flexible, specific guidelines, which have already should have already been set in your retainer agreement and your billing, uh, and, and you have to consistently enforce them. Um, if they are violating your policies and not paying you, uh, and you get above that 20%, what are you going to do? Quickly. Again, I'm an aggressive firm, I'm an aggressive collector, I like to get paid, I like to get my attorneys paid, I pay them well, and I think I pay my staff well, and there's a lot of perks. However, if a client is getting, his AR is getting too big, we will ask for a separate promissory note to be signed. So if a client owes me $50,000, we're going to start it all over again next month, we're going to set this $50,000 in a promissory note that you owe me, we're going to ask for a security interest in something that you may have. Maybe real estate, it may be cars, maybe boats, whatever it is. I have no uh, uh, affliction to really anything unless it's worth value. Uh, it might be a Rolex watch. Um, I, I have a last year I took an F-250, a boat, a Mustang, two motorcycles, a Rolex, and a Breitling. Judge Levine from Pinellas County says to me, can I come Christmas shopping at your firm? <laughs> Listen, that amounted to about a $50,000 uh, bulk of property. A lot of lawyers were going, I don't want to deal with it. Well, to me it was $50,000 more, more in assets that we could capture. And the client is willing to do it. They may have a boat or, or something that they say, well, listen, you know, you take, you take, you got my Harley, you want this, you want that, you want my Rolex, I don't care. I'm going to pay you, but if I don't, you can have it. You got to get a note, you get a security agreement, which is in your materials, you got to lien the property. There's a UCC1 lien in there and a mortgage. Let me tell you a real quick story about Leaned materials. Drug case I represented a client on, felony. Uh, he lost his driver's license. He was driving his nice F-250 truck. He decided to go to an adult use club. For those of you that don't know what that means, it's a strip club. He went there and he met a very nice uh, employee. He went out in the parking lot with her and um, uh, law enforcement pulled up and they seen his truck and his driver's license. They ran his tag. Law enforcement does that on occasion. They just run random tags. They, they ran his tag. Well, they noticed that this person didn't have a driver's license because he was, it was like his third DUI and I was representing him on that. Um, so he didn't have a driver's license. So they ran it and they said, well, and the car's running. Uh, they come up to the window, knock on the door, and they probably put their clothes back on. And uh, uh, they, they got out and there was a bag of this white powdery substance that looked like, smelled like, probably tested for cocaine. <laughs> Law enforcement seized the vehicle under Florida's Contraband Forfeiture Act and was Clearwater PD. Guess what? I had a lien against the vehicle for payment. So the lawyer from Clearwater PD says, uh, we're going to take your client's vehicle. I go, well, you better notice me in the lawsuit because I'm the first lien holder. I'm just like Regents Bank. I go, well, you knew or should have known that this car was going to be used in the commission of a crime. I go, are you serious? I said, that's your argument, try again. I got the car. Clearwater PD didn't get the car. And chief, the chief wanted that, that truck. But I followed my lien, I perfected it, and I was the first lien holder on it. So I got possession of it. Um, quickly, quickly, quickly. If the count's unpaid over 30 days, keep going. What's that reference? No, go to the next one. There you go. That's not in your materials. If that reminds you of your last client, then you need to figure out how I get paid and get paid without getting out, uh, cut my losses. Pursuer cut losses. Again, I'm not proud of it. We've had to do it depending upon the case. My firm has initiated litigation against five different clients this past year for fees, uh, some sizable. We've got two judgments. We dismissed one because the client disappeared, or the former client disappeared. Uh, one, we have an uh, offer of judgment pending, and one, we have a motion for summary judgment pending. Understand you sue a client, you're probably not going to be your client anymore ever again. And that's the risk you take, but to us it didn't matter. The fees were fees, we want to get paid. Uh, learn from where you slipped, not where you fall. So concentrate on any mistakes you might have. Uh, arbitration, not cheap. The Florida Bar offers free arbitration services, okay? The Florida Bar doesn't get involved in fee disputes. So you get clients to say, I'm going to agree with the Florida Bar about your fees. They won't get involved in fee disputes unless both parties agree, okay? Um, if you don't agree, Florida Bar ain't getting involved in a fee dispute. The AAA, American Association of Arbitration, is expensive. About 
$1,200 to get it started. Ethical considerations, uh, we've already gone over those. Um, keep going, keep going, keep going. Afterthoughts. Time is money, volume is money, mistakes are huge money, information will increase productivity. There's, a, there's, this, there's this overriding thought in the legal profession that the practice of law is not a business. It's a profession. And I get that. In fact, some recent admittees to the New Hampshire Bar were told by their Supreme Court Justice, you know, go out and do the noble work of God, and, and, but this is a profession, it's not a business. Well, I think that's the inherent problem with a, sometimes with the practice of law. It is a business. In fact, I respectfully disagree with that New Hampshire, New Hampshire Supreme Court Justice. And in 1998, Justice, Chief Justice Rehnquist said, the law is a business. And you have to apply good, sound moral, social, ethical business decisions in your practice of law. <clears throat> if you have a smartphone, you can scan my... Uh, you can scan my uh, information. Ashley, would you do me a favor? Do you have these? Can you come up for me? Everybody's, everybody's got that. Can you grab a Luby Mithro. Luby? Oh, right there. Okay. Let's go ahead. Got $50 gift cards from American Express. <laughs>
a case that came out yesterday. It's uh, 37 Florida Law Weekly D975A. And it's a fair debt collection practice case. It's not in the second district court of appeals. We do a good analysis of kind of telling the judge what to do and what not to do next time, and, and analysis and the remand for some things. But it came out yesterday for those of you that might be interested again. It's 37 Florida Law Weekly D975A. It's a consumer case. Vision Networks is the uh, company. Thank you, Rob. Real quick, can everyone pull out their flash drive? Because I want to make sure you all have it. And if you didn't receive it in your registration materials, we have extras at the registration test. This flash drive has everything that is in your binder and hard copy as a digital copy. And it also has every additional handout. So any links from all of the presentations, including Rob's, you can find there. It also has an attendee list, it has a sponsor page, it has additional resources. So please, please take use and make use of this flash drive because it has a lot more resources. I think it's over a couple hundred pages of information on the flash drive, all the materials that you would use these last three days. And one thing to add about the mentoring lunch that we're just about to begin, we hope that from this lunch and from today and tonight at the cocktail hour that relationships start to form naturally between the mentees and the mentors. So after these three days, if you think you would like to choose a specific mentor, if you hit it off very well, you can let me know that. Otherwise, we will continue to develop the mentoring program and let you know how those pairs uh, hang out. So Macaroni Grill has catered our lunch today. It's available in the atrium. Please feel free to pass through the line and then the class with 